Thank you, ma'am. God bless. Good morning. We are out here calling Christians as yourself, the good people here at this church that we know are pro-life, to stand up and abolish abortion and to actually save the orphans that are in foster care and start adopting them. You guys are a big enough church. I wondered if that's why you were here because of the size of the congregation. Well, we actually go to every pro-life church because you guys really? are the good people and you guys know that this is wrong. And if all those people in the state of Texas stood up, it would be illegal. Yeah, I know that there's some, is there some bill or something that's up Yeah, it was HB 948, yeah. and so it went, it didn't go through, it got put okay. aside. Um, but, well, actually, I think you're thinking of a different one. I can't remember the number. No, I'm thinking of the one to the where one, they're the partial. wanting to do the abortion in, the, I think, the second trimester. Yeah, I think that's like still that. on the table. Yeah. But HB 948 was a few months ago, mm -hmm. and that was to abolish abortion totally. And there was only a 1,000 Christians in Texas that was in Austin standing up for it. Really? So we're like, pastors need to be up there talking about this and saying, hey, guys, we need to be down there, and we need to stop this evil. Yeah. So it's not the pro-choice people that us as Christ followers are asking, we're asking people that know, like, why aren't you doing anything? You may not be able to adopt kids, you may not be able to stand out the abortion mills, but you can stand up for this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, um, this church has a ministry to save the mom, save the child. Yes, I've heard and, of it, yeah, yes. Yeah, I've been with them for a little while. Which is a good thing, we're not saying it's not a good thing. Oh, yeah. no, 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 <laughs> it's, it's not, it's the same thing. They, they, don't advocate for abortions yes. there. So they're Good. wanting to give hope to the young ladies that are pregnant to say, this isn't your only option Yeah. To consider abortion. Yeah. There are other options, and of course, to let them know that God loves them. That's right, and th that's so, what is, the gospel's the center of this. Like, if men, like my husband, will, not just me, my husband will stand up and say, if men stood up and was godly men, yeah. a lot of this would not happen. Yeah. Not that it's not the women's fault at all, but if godly men would support the women that they're impregnating this would not happen yeah and yeah. so i think god i mean the, the society right now is so moving away from god moving that i mean we're away but like yeah it's just it's very oh, yeah. sad oh yeah and so it really really we is. love the church we're the church we're uh, you're my sister and i just we do a home church right now we do it out of our house oh okay. yeah it's out of our house yeah and we invite neighborhood kind of kids or do you name or do you just no nope, we home? just no nope, we come at Sunday nights I've uh we adopted six kids out of foster care and for us it's better so we can ask specific questions and we kind of bring other families in and uh it's been really good for us but so we're just out at all the churches not just you guys and saying hey help you like come do something <laughs> yeah which other churches have you gone to um, we've gone to a whole bunch. This is the only one on this side of town. We live in Little Elm, so we've done all those in Little Elm. And um, we do try to stay away from pro-choice ones just because that's a whole different level. We just want the good people to stand up and do something. And if that happens, then the influence can start. Because um, unfortunately, there's a lot of people in the church, not just this church, that just are lulled asleep. They come to church, not saying you are, but there's a lot. And they sit for an hour, they feel good. Like, I just did my service. Yeah, and they leave. Unfortunately, that's so, at a lot of churches today. Yeah, you know, so we just are asking, hey, you're coming here, yeah. you do believe, or yeah. you believe there's something bigger than us, or you wouldn't be coming here, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so, oh, not just bigger, sovereign. The sovereign, that's thank the you, name. sovereign. That's the creator. I mean, the sovereign. I will. My testimony. I will, he brought me out of darkness. I mean, drinking, sex, everything. He brought me out of that to say, Stephanie, open your eyes. And so I just want other Christians, open your eyes of what's going on. Yeah. If the people in Texas would just stand up, it would be illegal. The Christian people, the people who call themselves Christians, not just the non-Christians. So that's all it's about. Um, we're, yeah, we're not we, angry with the church. We're not. No, we didn't think so. <laughs> we just thought, let me just. We, instead we of appreciate it. Yes. Down, walk on down there. Let's see what's going on down Well, we here. appreciate it. Yeah, we, I can see from the signs that, you know, you were advocating against abortion. Yes. So I can see that. Yes. But uh, thought we'd come on down. It's a, a great cause as far as to advocate for. But, um, That's what the Bible says, right? Stand up for yeah. the ones that don't have a voice, the voiceless. Yeah. So we that have was, our own church, too? Yep, as we talked about already. Yeah, that's what we were discussing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was one of the questions that I would often ask the girls that come. You know, your baby doesn't have a voice. 
and if they could speak for themselves, what do you think they say? Mom, save me. Yeah. That is such like great phrase because they can't back away from that. Yeah. They have They're a mom. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, it would bring tears and I don't know how many that the Lord just moved and turned it around. That's awesome. They went in the other direction. And that's what those places are great for, yeah. you know, but unfortunately yeah. a lot of the people that go on abortions that we see, they haven't even like, that's not even on their mind. Yeah. So yeah. that's yeah, why we need more people. Didn't know. Yeah, we need more people. Yeah. They thought, like, you know, they've been counseled at the, at the pro-choice is to say, oh no, that's... There's no heartbeat. There's no, no like, yeah. yeah. You know, just so just wrong, you know. And and the biggest thing is do what's best for you. No, that's not what God no. calls us to do. No, no, no. do we are uncomfortable in this world, yes. by the way. It, 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 <laughs> this is not comfortable, but yeah, yeah. I'm going to stand up for those voiceless. So, yeah. and, and if you're out there and you're doing things that have the potential to become yes. certain, what do you think is going to happen? You know, and when I was there, I spoke to my people just like it is. You know, no sugar. Truth and love. That's what Let it is. Let us talk. 